Hello everyone, it's Jurobro back with another video. And guys, I want to talk about this feature that I found found out today actually. And this is about adding some of the additional emails to your Jira service management projects. Now, before, if you remember, you actually had that one Atlassian email address and you could you could also add only one custom email and basically that was it now the good thing is you can add up to 10 connected email accounts so this is actually pretty great imagine if you're actually handling different requests with different email addresses so this is where this feature comes really handy. Now you have two options in here. The first option is to go and to create your Atlassian email, which will end with the name of your site, .atlassian.net. So if I go here and if I say support at Nicola Dan dash YouTube, uh, then dot atlassian.net I can go ahead and choose the request type and basically what does it say here is you can select request types with only summary and description as required fields and the request type will be assigned to requests raised from the email address so what what actually this really means this actually really means that you can raise your requests using well uh, your email provider either it's gonna be the outlook either it's gonna be the the gmail icloud or something else you can of course like you're sending your day-to-day uh, -day emails to someone uh, from work or someone outside uh, your work this Oh, this is how you can actually create issues in uh, Jira service management as well. So in here, I can go for the request type and I'm, I'm going to select this and I'm going to say this is going to be indeed the email address. Okay, so the email address is used by the templates project. Enter a unique email address. Okay, support uh extra let me call it like that so i'm gonna click on create and there we go now the thing is that the another thing that was actually added is you can add an external email address now external email address can be uh used with the uh, google microsoft and with the other the thing is now that we also have is this section right here that says reply to address what actually this means this means that this email address which is this one right here is used when customers reply to email notifications for requests raised via channels other than the email itself the one thing that you actually need to remember is that those email address, uh, that that email address that has been uh, set to be the reply to address cannot be deleted. So if I go here with the three dots, I cannot actually delete this. But the thing is, I can assign a different address to be this reply to address. And now I, I can update it. Now the thing is, what I can uh, do right now is I can go ahead and if I want, I can delete this default address that was actually in our project. Of course, this is uh, something if we want to do. If we actually don't want to do this, we can leave it as it is. So we can go ahead and we can, let's say, create a new email address, but this email address is going to be for the request type of submit a request or the incident. And I'm gonna say this, that basically it's gonna be called incidents. And if I create it right here, and it says your project will start receiving requests from incidents 
and then at Nicola uh, dash YouTube dot dot net. So this is how you can actually receive your uh, email emails more of course and of course you also have the options to view the logs right here and what does it actually say in here it was that well I have created a request in here so if I want to actually see here it says your service project email email channel is ready to receive requests so that is actually the very first the very first email that we actually uh, have added to be the Atlassian uh, Atlassian email address that's what that's how we can actually uh, see it in the logs as well the another thing is of course that you can manage the permissions for sending email requests and adding other participants by emailing customer permissions uh, now the question is okay what is this so if we actually go for the customer permissions now what we have in here is something that is being called the customer sharing now the interesting thing about the customer sharing are these two options right here because these two options in here can allow you to when you're creating the email request and when you actually add someone to that uh, to that request uh, to the CC they automatically get uh, uh, get added as request participants so this is this is why the customer sharing is actually being used if I want I can actually change this and I have changed it so now what it says agents and project admins can add new customers to a project at any time by including their email address as to or CC field when replying to request email notification and another thing the selected settings will also allow existing customers to add new customers by including their email address to the CC when replying and when this happens they get added as the request participants but in overall our focus was on this um, on this uh, new um, feature for expanding to add the max of 10 uh, email accounts to your Jira service management project that is it uh, I hope you guys yeah, you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching bye bye